guys welcome back to my channel so if you're new to my channel hey my name's angel <laughs> and if you've been here for a minute and you're seeing my growth and my evolution <laughs> of my company and seeing the direction that i'm end up in the end of the day heading where it's going to be like this is it I made it so that's the that's the grip right now so I'm getting off track I know I'm just so excited so um the other day I made um another soap with y'all guys and currently right now I'm going to be doing the reveal so yes and then on top of that, I'm going to be packaging and showing you how I package um, my soaps. And unfortunately for these, I haven't created the labeling for them, but if you've seen my previous videos, then you will see it's the same thing. The only difference is, is not gonna say lavish lavender or beauty um, rose, beautiful rose. It's gonna say dream, which is the name for this. I I'm excited. So, a further ado, here it is. <laughs> so, here's the first batch. <gasps> and then look at the back. Small ones. And... Mm. And this one, I always leave, if it's a small size like this, I leave it for my son. And that's where he showers with. <laughs> but he's going to end up this time, he's in luck because I only have four that I did with the remaining amount. Because if I did it, if I poured all of it in here, it would have just been a thin layer. So it wouldn't have been enough to cover everything. So I'm going to only be able to do the two pack. And so he's going to end up getting another bar, which I know he's going to be excited about. So. <laughs> so um, like I said, I'm going to show you how I how I wrap them, but the labeling is where I stop because I have not created the labeling. So let's get started. This is the back. This is the front. So the swirls didn't come out exactly the way I liked, but the back is all swirled up. And you see what I mean when I, when I talk about it's an ocean-like? So, I guess when they say when the colors are too close together, to see that um, difference is very, very hard sometimes. But if you're in front, if you're in front of me, you would have been like, ah, I see it. But so far, it's it's the top part is half of the um, teal and the other half is the blue. So, I tried, man. I tried. So, same thing. It looks like a half C. And then in the back is where you're going to get the, you getting the swirls. So, somebody told me that if I had um, for my type of soap, I would have to do it as a bar and if I want the swirls because the swirls are all in the middle. So if I cut it in half, that's where I'll start seeing the swirls. But I want it like this. So I'm going to get a half C and then the back is going to be a swirl like. So I have five of these um, at this moment. Um, if you saw the previous video, you will know how. I don't even know how I got the five when I made enough for the six. So obviously my mouth was off somewhere. And, and then 
now I'm going to show you how I'm trying to see where I threw it. Okay, <laughs> it was next to me. So these are what I do for the five pack and the samplings, the beautiful daisies, these moles. I use as the five pack and as the two pack samplers. So let me get that out. And for this, same thing. The same effect happened with these. But for these, it's like a dash of the color. It just morphed together. And then you can see it on the sides that is not giving it to you. It's just, unfortunately, I nailed. I didn't nail it, I just nailed. So that's that. So I'm going to, um, I have enough where I can do a two pack. So that's what I'm going to be doing is a two pack for the. As y'all know, I use a flat iron to seal off my edges. And then I use a heat gun warrior. Oh, it's on this side. Warrior in order to um, shrink wrap. And then I use Dollar Tree shrink wrap. It, it's a the basket covering and it works extremely very well so and i do apologize for the noise um it's just my son putting away um the dishes and i'm in the kitchen you know so i cut them up into little square pieces um and everything so make it easier for me to um, shrink wrap it. And for the square, I seem to be able to do only two per square. And the way that I do it is that I get my flat iron, I put it on the high setting, and then I turn it down to the low setting. So then you take it and you just push it to the edge just slightly, and then you, um, and then you go over it and pinch it. And then look. <laughs> when I say look, I kind of um, uh, popped it out. Let me push it in there. Oh, that geranium is like amazing leaf. Oh my goodness. It's so good. Okay. So then you keep going over and you close it off. And then look. And you get scissors. And then you cut off the excess. And you just make sure that it's far enough where you have um where you can uh where you, it's far enough where you can close it off still. You see that? Then you. Bam. Now I got a little pouch. So you can leave it like this and um and put it here or um or close it off here and put in um a tag over this so it can hang like this. And you, then that's as far as you go for the shrink wrapping. So that's one thing you can do. Or you can go and just finish shrink wrapping it. Cut off the excess. Because the longer it is, the more trouble it's going to give you. And then you take it and you do a quickie. And that's it. And try not to slam it against this because if you do, then it's going to poke a hole. And then I'm going to go right ahead. 
You're gonna take your blow gun and you're going to finish the process. You're gonna do the sides, the top, the bottom, or you do the sides, the bottom, the top. I do it differently each and every time, so. And try to clean up these edges. You see this right here? Because people could get hurt. So. Fold it on, try to fold it on the bottom. And don't be like me and poke a hole through. But you know how I fix that solution? You see this right here that I previously cut? I get this. And when the remaining scraps that I have, I put it over it. I put tape. And then I do one more layer of, and then I, um, and then I shrink wrap it just one more time do the back to make sure it is good and that's it so this is not a big enough scrap for me to use so this isn't either because I'm gonna end up cutting it so when I have enough big enough scrap then that's what I use which I'm gonna be in the showing you in a minute so with this remember I have this this one there you go And make sure it's um, when you have it because it's um, it's folded. Make sure you didn't have two of them because you don't want that. So then you bring it to the edge because keep in mind you do need some scraps. So then you make sure you have enough where it's not going to touch your bar soap because. Remember, if you scrape it against it, it creates a, it creates a, um, a hole. So you put it slightly in the middle, and then you stamp, then you do the same thing. And then stamp, there you go. And then you do the same thing. For me, I'm gonna cut off with SS because there's no point for me because I don't need all of that. So, and this part, you might need to take your time with it because you don't want to take off too little and you don't want to take off too much. And then you go ahead and you start pinching your way through. So you're going to do the side right here first. And mine's just curls any way you choose. So I let it. So because then when it curls in, it makes it a, sometimes if you cut it a little too short, it makes it a little easier for you. And bam. There you go. And in your pouch. And then you go right ahead and you turn it on low. And this time I was very mindful and I made sure that I laid everything out. There we go. 
And you remember that piece that I told you that I made a mistake and ripped up? So you flip it over and the piece that you had, this piece right here, you find a big piece, which is for me, a long one. And then you put it over it. And you measure it out because you, you can just do this, but then you might run the risk of cutting, um, of um, poking a hole through this, the back part, I mean the front part. So you measure it out and you make sure it just goes to the side. Then you find your tape right here. And this is how I fix my um, my broken ones. So I put tape sideways. Oh, I was trying to catch it before it did that because when it's transparent, it's so hard to um, catch it sometimes. And then you put it this way so now it's down it's laid down and then now it's time for you to do the same thing to this side and the thing that i do is that i put it um against it and i make sure it goes all the way up and I bring it all the way around and I tape all the way around. And then I cut off the tape. Okay. So then when I wrap it, on the side, I just need to do the sides. I don't need to touch the top whatsoever. Um, so then it's a patch job. And then I could do a quick thing. So then just go to the side right quick. Over and then bam. And then right there. And like I said, the patch job is is going to be basically, oh, um, your logo is going to be right here. So if they decide to break off your logo, guess what? They're going to rip it anyways. So that's how I deal with that. And then this is already good. So you don't have to worry about anything. So we're going to do um, two more.
said I have um, five, but um, one of them I'm going to have to take product pictures with. So I'm going to leave that one and do that one off camera. But there we go. <gasps> My geraniums. My swirl of a world. Roses. So this is part of the collection for my rose garden. So thank you very much for watching. And I will see you on the flip side. All right. Bye. Love you.